And welcome back to the fifth weekly GTO Time Trial Tuesday. Happy Tuesday evening tonight. And we have a beautiful night here tonight with some of the best online drivers ready to go head-to-head -head in another time trial here. This is our first oval that we have randomly picked on this the schedule so far. So we're here at the high bakes of Daytona to see how fast these guys can make street cars go. And yes, I know that looks like an F1 car, but that is a Jeep F1 car. So any Jeep car is... It's a street car. And um, we just want to thank you uh, all for coming out tonight. And uh, thank you for uh, being here. It's going to be a fun one here tonight. And there is no PPE limit here tonight. So no performance restrictions or no restrictions at all. So these guys can engine swap their cars, do anything they want to their cars to make them as fast as possible. So this is going to be a fun one to watch how fast that these drivers can make these street cars go. And we're going to see some fast lap times here at this two and a half mile super speedway over 30 degrees of banking here. One of the best or one of the most historic tracks on the NASCAR circuit. And we're about to get down to get this thing going. So let's set up a little spectating here so and the timer is starting in three two one the time has started you are the track is green the track is green see drivers starting to make their way out on the pit onto the straightaway to get some laps done interesting to see how fast that these cars will go around here. There goes the lamb down the back straightaway in the Jeep F1 car. This could probably be his best chance at winning one of these time trial Tuesdays if he can do it here tonight. Been really tough to get that car to go fast on those road courses and stuff. We got Javen Tucker and a Ferrari around the outside. 256, 57, 258 mile an hour into turn one. Really, really high speed going around there. Jay will be the first one to complete a lap with a 35-2 is the fastest lap on the board so far. A couple drivers within a second of the leader at the moment. The purple sector there for Javen Tucker entering turns three and four. about setting a fast lap around this place is keeping the wheels steady as possible. He's going to go a tenth faster that time. Now with the 35-0. Ruin. In the Mercedes, we have lead. He has gone a purple sector a tenth faster. He is only 62 one hundredths off of the lead at the moment. If he can get a good run off of turn four, he could set the fastest lap. Let's see to the stripe. And top of the board by three tenths of a second, a 34-7-2-3. The blit as he goes to the top of the board. He has won a time trial event before. He goes another purple sector there down the back straightaway. The super stretch. Another purple sector. He's on a heater of a lap right now. 255 mile an hour as he exits turn four. Through the trioval he goes. Tenth faster at 34606 is your fastest lap so far. Tucker's four tenths off of the leader right now. He 
Panthers and to come back out on pit road. Driving a Ferrari F40, the first time we've seen a F40 in competition in the GTO League. Jalen Bird and some other drivers starting to make some adjustments already. Looks like Peter's actually gone third fastest there, and he's in Aguara. 1.6 seconds off of the leader right now. He's outlet. A lot of drivers in the pits right now, making some adjustments. Trying to gain some more speed out of those cars. Every little bit counts. Six oh six is still the fastest time in the event so far. Some really, really fast times here for the high banks of Daytona. Really, really fast lap time here for a Cup Series car, a NASCAR Cup stock car. It's normally in the around the forty-six second range. So over ten seconds faster. The Cup cars around here, they are. Really hauling around this race right. James Tucker back out on track in the Ferrari after making some adjustments. And Landon is not in a street car. That is most definitely not a street car. Ooh, Zay is very, very loose to turn one. Or four, I mean. Hanging on to it so far, though. Man. There's the Nick car. View of Zay cranking the wheel, wheel on that Ford Mavic around here. Ooh. Sideways drifting around the high banks of Daytona. Anybody's got any faster times up front? Time set by Lydic minutes ago is still the fastest time on the board right now. Tucker definitely within striking distance though. About four tenths off of the leader at the moment. Get the adjustments rise on that thing. I'm sure he can squeeze some more speed out of it. is driving a Mazda, quite su surprising actually. Let's see if Jamie Tucker will have anything for the lead. Peter here in the wire. 
about a second off of the leader right now. See if we can what kind of adjustments he can make to that car to get some more speed out of him. Holy crap, that's bumpy. Wham well, is definitely going to have a headache after this race tonight. His driver is getting thrown around inside of that car based off of this in-car camera. Six still the fastest time. And attention drivers, we have 10 minutes down. 20 more minutes to go. 20 more minutes to go. Jay the Bird trying to make us some time. He's around a second off of the leader. Only goes a tenth faster though, so he's only nine tenths back now. Good luck for him, he's 37.07. Got some time to make up. Striking distance of the leader. So what kind of adjustments he made to make that thing fast. Whoa. Oh, and Slinky's about to go around, able to save it though. I think Slinky's actually used his one car swap. Is that a Bugatti now? The first time we've seen a Bugatti. And in competition as well, but well, street Bugatti. We have seen a group three Bugatti race back in the blue moon days. Ooh, and Slinky's gonna go in the hard to the outside wall in turn one. Slinky is around. Hard, hard hit. Over 230 mile an hour head on into the wall. Definitely gonna have a fast car here. He can just keep it going in the corner. He's got the speed on the straightaway. Top speed at the lead of the lid we've seen it coming right around well, over 250, close to 260 mile an hour. Slinky's going over 270 into the corners. Has to let off a lot though. He is all over the track. Almost makes contact with Zay. Interesting how this works out for Slinky here. Straightaway speed versus cornering speed. How do you find a good balance? Oh, and he's gonna save it. No, he's gonna go around. He backs her into the outside wall. Out of turn four. And here comes Zay drifting off the, the corner behind him. The two leaders in the session. Are James Tucker went two tenths faster that time. He's only two tenths off of the leader. I think we're having a little slipstream battle here. See who can get behind who. James actually getting the, the draft off of Slinky there. Slinky trying to get out the way. Slinky trying to get back in the toe now. Slinky's way faster on the straightaways. At the P4 at the moment. Ooh, drifting through turn one. Oh, and he's going to go. Oh, he saved it. Went a second faster, though. But he's going to get passed by a couple guys there. But 
definitely tell that car is loose for Slinky. Five tenths up for Slinky, only second and a half back now from the leader. E3 says that his car is not carring. Hopefully he can get his car to car soon. He has about 15 minutes to do so, so 15 more minutes for E3 to get his car to car. Some kind of time. If he can get a, a clean lap around here, he can definitely. Seven tenths up. He's only seven tenths off of the lead now. Is he's gonna spin out in front of him? Four tenths, purple sector for Slinky. Can Slinky get her done? Five tenths faster into the final turn. He's loose off the corner though. If he can handle it, he's gonna have a hell of a lap at the line. To the stripe, to the top of the board goes Magic Slinky at 33, seven, nine, three. Eight tenths faster, Magic Slinky last week's winner. Two-time winner in the time trial Tuesday is back at the top of the board. He said another purple sector going on the back straightaway. Let's see, five tenths faster. He could set another faster lap here. He's got a handle on that thing. He's just got to keep it straight off of the turn onto the final straightaway. And 28 one hundredths. Faster that time, new fastest lap at 33.793. What can these drivers do to catch Slinky? Slinky was one of the fastest for the past couple times that he's raced. He won in the Super Van, he won last week at Sakuba. Two very, very different tracks that he's won at a dirt track and a tight road course. Can he get it done here tonight at the high banked oval? of Daytona Super Speedway. The second and third place cars pulled in the pits tried to make some adjustments we got 13 more minutes to go 13 more minutes to go a hard crash out of turn one for slinky was able to get Currently P4. His fastest lap time is a 33.719. That was his last lap, was his actually fastest lap. Let's see what the lid here can do. He's the closest to Slinky right now. He's at 1.3 seconds off of the lead. Slinky definitely has him on straightaway speed, but Vlid definitely has him in the corners. He's a lot more stable, able to get a really good handle on the car throughout the turn. Slinky's going to try to move out of the way and end up wrecking himself, actually. Go to the pits and try to make some more adjustments. Javen is out there in a Miata now. Yeah. Sure, with the top down, that thing is very, very aerodynamic. Cannot imagine going over 240 mile an hour with your head sticking out the top of a car. That's his lap time round is a 33.256. Closing in on the last 10 minutes here. 
What can these drivers do to get squeeze every single ounce of speed out of these cars? We got Vlid in the pits. We got to interview Vlid. Let's see if we can talk to Vlid real quick. Hey Vlid, you got us? Oh yes, you will. Yes, yes. How is car today? How is car? Okay, the Slinky pulled the uh, uh, Bugatti out of ass. Yes, 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 he did pull Bugatti out. Uh, you, you know, Vlid is uh, Vlid's gonna try and beat it, uh, but Vlid doesn't know if he can get the power on the straightaway. Well, you got about 10 more minutes to do it, so hopefully you can find something. How how has the car been uh, handling wise? Been handling pretty yes, good. Yes, uh, Vlid, you know, Vlid went to the drawing board this week, and Vlid was wondering how can I win at Daytona. And then Vlid remembered that back in World War II, we were friends with German. Yes, yes. So then Vlid decided to go pick German car because German car is good. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, that's really good. That's really nice. Um, so good luck to you for the rest of the time trial event. Let's see if you can beat Slinky. Good luck. Yes, yes. That was really such such a pleasure to have a foreign driver in the field tonight. If he doesn't win, though, he might be killed by the K KGB, so that is not a pleasant thing. And we have the Jeep out on the racetrack. We got to interview Blam now. Blam, we see you got the fastest car on the track right now. How's it going out there? Uh, I only put it in third gear because I don't want to I don't want to ruin the competition for the other drivers. Slinky's having a really good run. Uh, <laughs> Peter and and uh, Vlid have been having good runs, so very, I'm just going to keep it in third gear for, for now so I don't ruin any of their runs. Yeah, we're looking at your in-car camera right now. And man, she looks like she's a handful. Definitely a handful. How's she handling out there? It handles like a bus, but it drives like a jeep. And Let me tell you that you gotta put that thing a four low to be able to climb that banking. And I think with ten minutes remaining, you might be able to get one lap in. So uh, good luck. Good luck to you for the rest of the event. All right. Thank you, Miles. Damn, really. Making it go fast around there. Looks like he's still on top of the board. 33.256. Eight minutes remaining. Eight minutes are left in the time trial. So time starting to line down. We got a car spinning off of turn four. I'm not really sure who that was. It is Javen Tucker in the Miata. Kind of deserving of a Miata to spin out. Um, we'll go with the in-car camera. Slinky here. Oh, is he almost wrecked it out of turn two? Two hundred seventy, two hundred eighty miles an hour into turn one. Crazy amount of speed. Yes, you can go ahead and change the uh, E3. Let's see, um, if E3 will change and get back on the track. Got about seven minutes left to complete your lap times, drivers. Slinky may be on the way to another victory here tonight. If he wins here tonight, he will win. Three out of the four Time Trial Tuesdays, he has entered. So that's a crazy stat. If he wins tonight, he will have a 175% of the races that he's competed in Time Trial Tuesday. And somehow, I don't know how this managed to happen. 
but the Lamb managed to get a penalty in the Willie's Jeep. So that is very, I'm actually quite impressed that it went fast enough to get a penalty. He's going to set a scorcher of a lap. He's just hoping to get the draft at this point. The Jeep. Zay is drifting that thing around the final two turns. Man, it looks like a handful. We're not able to save it that time, though. It's about 1.3 seconds off of the leader. And we have about five more minutes to go. Five more minutes to remaining in the time trial Tuesday. Five more minutes. Beautiful in-car camera footage there from the Willys Jeep. Zay down the back straight away. Javen trying to get something to happen here. With this Miata. Can he get her done? Pretty threat fast throughout the corner. Oh, and it's going to spin out really, really hard. Massive crash, and he immediately leaves the track. Four minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go. Jim's going to come back out on the racetrack now. T-Bird's in the pits. Let's see if we can talk to T-Bird real quick. Oh, we got a couple minutes left. Hey, T-Bird. It's us up here in the booth. You got us? Hey, how's it going? Um, so you've been hanging just about in the top five tonight. Uh, how's the track and the car going for you? It's going pretty good. I didn't expect this car to do so well as it's doing, so uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. You seem to be going pretty good. Uh, you do have your bright headlights on. I can see the thing ah. on your dash right now, so um, make sure you turn that off whenever you're behind other people just to not make them mad. But uh, uh, how are you feeling about the event tonight? Are you having a good time? Oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. That's good. Almost That's hit good. Javen right there, my bad. Um, yeah, Javen is going oh. pretty fast for Miata. I'm pretty sure he just died in front of you. But uh, yeah, um, good job of keeping her straight, and uh, good luck to you for the rest of the event, T Bird. Thank you. Thank you. And we have three more minutes to go. Three more minutes to go. Can anyone beat? the top time. E3 is making a run for it though. He said his fastest lap is a 33.677. He's only five tenths off of the leader. And he absolutely wrecks going through the tri-oval. He's going to get back up to speed to try to get some more laps in. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Blam is on some heaters. Blam's fastest lap in the Jeep is a two minute and four second lap time. What a scorcher. Oh, Blam, man. <laughs> he's, um, he's using all the track. Just trying to gain some speed out that thing. To the strike with 2.08. Oh, and he's going to spin in the infield. I'm sure that thing's a handful. Under two minutes to go now. Under two minutes to go. Will Ironheart be able to catch him? E3. He went with the faster sector that time. 1300s faster on his own time. He's got a minute and a half to do so. A minute and a half remaining. Once the timer's in, drivers will be able to complete one more time lap. 
Will they be able to hang on? Will Javen be able to get a clean lap in? If he can get a clean lap in, he might actually be fast. Slinky setting a purple sector though. Could he beat his own time? Can E3 get there? He's going faster. Under a minute remaining. Under one more minute to go. To the stripe. He's a little faster. E3 only five tenths back. Fastest lap last time was a 33.629. And a couple tenths off of the leader. 30 more seconds to go. 13 more seconds. The driver's trying to get around at the stripe. Jamie Tucker went fourth fastest that time. If he can keep a handle on it, he might have something here. Four tenths up on his best time. E3 went faster. He's only four tenths back now. 13 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Time is up. Complete one more time lap. Complete one more time lap. Complete one more time lap. Will Slinky be able to hold on? Will Javen Tucker be able to get it? It looks like he's the only driver left that hasn't completed their time lap. He's faster to turns three and four. Let's see if we can get him off the corner. To the stripe. Tucker's gonna go faster, but it's not enough. Still eight tenths off of the leader. And it looks like Slinky is gonna win yet again. Back to back time trial Tuesday victories for Magic Slinky. So an amazing win for him. Slinky's gonna bring home the hardware. I believe E3 is gonna be P2 and P3. We bullet, I believe. So let's go ahead and get down to your post race interview. Start out with your winner for tonight. Oh, Javen is actually P3, my bad. Let's see if we can find Slinky here. Slinky, congratulations, you have won back-to-back -back Time Trial Tuesday events. How was the car on the track tonight? So I saw you messed around with the Mazda Hatchback, which wasn't really the, the fastest car in the world for the first half of the Time Trial session, but we're able to really pull out something really, really fast through the last half. So how was the Time Trial tonight? What'd you think? Yeah, really, really fast. Uh, you've won at three different racetracks, uh, dirt, and you've won at a uh, small road course at Sakuba last week, and now winning at Oval. So uh, just, it seemed like your car was handling a little bit worse than P2 and P3. Uh, just, how was the handling a challenge, and how were you able to overcome that? Good job on the Time Trial Tuesday win tonight, and congratulations, you are now a three-time winner in the GTO League. And let's go visit E3, P2 tonight. E3, congratulations on your P2 finish. Uh, came up just short, we're really, really fast there at the end. How, how was the Time Trial Tuesday for you tonight? It was a wedge. Uh, how'd the Ferrari do and everything? It handled pretty good out there? Yeah, except when you would bottom out and then it would hit the wall at 270 miles an hour. Yeah, that's not really a good thing to do there at 270 miles an hour, but um, really, really fast car tonight. Another podium here tonight in Time Trial Tuesday, so hopefully you can improve by a couple tenths next week and uh, win Sleepy, uh, beat Slinky, so congratulations on P2. Thank you. And P3 is Javen Tucker. It's 1.2 seconds off. 
And let's see if we can talk to P3. Javen Tucker, congratulations on you. another podium tonight in the Time Trial Tuesday. Say that again? Uh, congratulations on P3 tonight in your Time Trial Tuesday. Thank you, Miles. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know Mazdas are just Mazda, but uh, how was the car tonight? It looked like it was a handful. It definitely was a handful, and I wish I switched to it way earlier. Because I think I might have stayed on that Ferrari a little bit too long, hoping for the best. But this car was just definitely faster, and I should have brought it out sooner. Yeah, well, the congratulations on P3 tonight. Um, I'm actually going to want to go interview Vlid just because he finished off the podium, so that's not good for him with the KGB. So, congratulations again there, Jaden. Thank you. Let's see if we can find uh, Vlid here. Hey, uh, Vlid. You finished off the podium, so uh, how how was it tonight? You know, yes, uh, very disappointing. Uh, Vlid will now go unleash war on Germans. Yeah, yeah, that German car did definitely let you down at the end. Um, but hopefully, uh, you'll be able to pick things up next week. But what do you think of the track and everything tonight? Uh, Vlid filmed it very interesting. Uh, it was uh, very fun. Vlid would like to try other car. Vlid is really looking forward to using uh, Lancia from last week again. Well, uh, congratulations on, uh, I guess, the top five finish here tonight. Um, yes, don't let yes. the KGB take care of you, so... Uh, oh, no, Vlid, Vlid has a perfect hotel over in uh, Willow Springs that I can uh, hide in. There you go, there you go. Uh, have a good one tonight. Congratulations on uh, P5. And let's see if we can get one more interview in. We gotta go with the fastest Jeep Willys of the night. Blam. Let's see if we can interview Blam. Hey Blam, you were the fastest Jeep Willys of the night tonight. How how was it? Yeah, I was I was on a heater, but then I got a track penalty and it said I forced somebody else off the track when I what happened was I got ass packed by a Wyra doing 300 miles an hour. I mean, the Jeep had to be doing at least 400, so. And I see that you're actually using the four wheel drive right now and off loading. Yes. So that, I'm, I'm trying out the different layouts of Daytona International. There you go. Do you want to try that thing in the um, rally cross? Maybe one week we can do an all Jeep time trial event where everyone just has to see how fast they can make the Jeep go. You know, uh, I don't think that would go over well with the rest of the occupants of this It'd lobby be fun because to watch, uh, though, they don't sure. they don't a Jeep appreciate Jeep's history as much as I do. You know? Yes, yes. Well, that 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 they Jeep did that beat Jeep, the Jeep create. Yes. But uh, congratulations on being the fastest Jeep tonight. So hope to see you I next week. I appreciate Harpo. Thanks. And uh, I believe that's it for the tonight's. Time trial Tuesday. Magic Slicky is your winner for a back to back event, making him a three time winner in the league. So, congratulations to all the drivers and thank you all for participating. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube for up uh, then. Javen has now failed post race inspection due to saying that Jeeps suck. Um, all the newer ones do really suck, but Javen has now failed post race inspection. So, anyways, congratulations to all the drivers that won tonight, and we hope to see you next week for the next Time Trial Tuesday.